So good morning and uh, another Tech Edu Tips. Go through this habit of thanking recent subscribers. Uh, Liana, Maite, thank you for subscribing and watching subscribers week. Uh, only a couple in the last week. Not like I'm getting hundreds a day or craziness, but I will try to shout out to the people subscribing. We've hit like 900 subscribers, 930 shooting for a thousand eventually um magic number and uh so hit the subscribe if you'd like um uh, like the videos or unlike the videos comments on what you want to suggest for other videos and uh that'd be helpful so let's go to let's see so last week i applied for this award and it's a word about Hiring professor, and part of the process was I need to document nine important things I did. And sometimes it's hard to remember what you did a year ago or over a year ago. So, one advantage I have is a log where I could decide, or not decide, I could find what I did last year. So I've been publishing on my blog every day in almost a year now and on any random day uh this one saturday and it follows up format it's what did you do today what did you enjoy what did you find difficult what has changed thanks to ben bird um post four questions over a year ago about an idea to do this it inspired me so i did this and then there's these stretch questions, which I don't do as often. I don't do those days. sometimes every Saturday if I, if I can or I'm in the mood. But the nice thing is this gave me to search. Did I win an award last year? I can find them. I will. Heck, awards. Um, award. I was able to find that. I was able to find where I gave, say, a webinar and I could go back and find those entries. Yeah. So that was really helpful for me to apply for this. And it will be very helpful for annual review. Blogging is useful. Reflective uh, activities about our process of education. For me, it's really important. So I just wanted to think about using a blog for that purpose it could be an internal thing could be an external private or public if you choose to make a public blog you go say to blogger.com this is the works well i think i have one set up at one time but i don't like the style of it so i haven't been using it i'm more a fan of wordpress um i have a site on wordpress.com but it just says earn to my my own version of WordPress's open software. You can use the free version of WordPress.com. They'll inject ads into your site, or you can pay them money and that'll remove the ads and give you features. Or like I have on my own domain, and I have my own domain, embower.me, uh, I host that hosting service. And one that I use is Flame Hosting. Excellent service, great people. You can host WordPress, you can host things but uh this isn't a hosting and so that's where i do my hosting that's how i have my site it really helps me go back and look what did i do last year or even 10 years ago my friends that are blogging for back in time see what they were doing a long time ago that's the post for today. I hope you enjoy this. Questions, or comments, or suggestions for videos, leave them down in the comments below. Thanks and